Judgment is very interesting to me. I've come to realize in the last three years that it is judgment that is stopping 90% of this audience. Especially when you go into different subcultures, it is scary to me how many of you are not doing things because you're worried about what your parents would think. You're worried about disappointing your parents, you're worried about the leverage your parents have. And that is unbelievably true in every culture, but obviously quite true in this culture. Judgment is the number one thing that I need to break you out of for you to even begin to make content on social networks. You don't need to be perfect, you don't need to be right, you need to stay in your lane. You need to talk about what you know, you need to talk about what you're passionate about, you gotta talk about either what you like or what you know. But you can't worry about the comments. Are you really gonna live your life based on somebody anonymous saying that you're ugly or not smart? Yet almost everybody does. The amount of people that refused to post or stopped posting because of a negative comment is remarkable or because of a snarky comment by their brother or best friend or girlfriend. It's remarkable to me how grateful I am, how thankful I am that I was parented in a way that built self-esteem, confidence, and, it's, and I'm grateful and also sad by how many aren't. And the only way I know to how to break it is to push positivity and optimism and practical positivity into the ecosystem. If you're, if, you're, if you're sitting in this audience today and you're not happy, and I mean this, like really ask yourself, are you happy? It's really been interesting to me to find something that works, which is you have to change who you're listening to. If you're sitting in this audience today and you're not happy, you have to change who you're listening to. It's scary to me that 85% of the people that are here today are here for one reason. They're looking for something because most likely a parent put them in a position that hasn't allowed them to feel fully comfortable. And so what has gotten me more motivated than ever around this subject matter is this, and I'm gonna keep going back to it. I would not be giving this keynote 20 years ago because living a life around putting out content on a platform that could reach so many people wasn't real. When the internet wasn't here, it was harder to do what you love. It was harder to be practical. You couldn't work your day job and then start a whole nother big career after because it was late at night and the internet didn't exist so there was no scale. You know what, we're gonna open a store that was only open from 9 p.m. to midnight? It wasn't practical. It is now. This is like, I wish everybody here understood, including me, how lucky we are to be living in a world where the internet is now a thing. Our grandparents didn't have these options. We must take advantage of this.